In Indonesia alone, we have over 5,000 churches using uh, the Superbook uh, Sunday School curriculum and uh, several thousand more in Southeast Asia. Now, I've never had a single report back where a child misunderstood the scripture and thought that Gizmo did something or Chris or Joy did something. Um, uh, I've never heard of any anyone who's mis any child that's misconstrued that. Have you? No, I really haven't, and I don't know why why you would ever hear that because such care is taken to make sure that doesn't happen, to make sure that the kids do not impact the Bible story. And you can go through every episode. Yes, the kids are back there, and I realize their time travel is part of the story. I realize there's a robot in the scene. But kids understand that the robot is a, is a comedic character. They understand he's not a biblical character. And uh, no, so I've never seen that type of uh, confusion before either. What's really incredible to me is that uh, we've been airing Superbook now for several years all over the world. And millions, millions and millions of kids have seen Superbook. And we're seeing kids come to Christ through Superbook. We're seeing kids change their behavior, how they deal with their parents. Uh, we, we just have amazing testimonies of the, of the internal changes that have happened to kids. Of course, we get most excited when a, when a child uh, really gives their life to Christ as a result of Superbook. Mm -hmm. But another thing we're seeing that I think is just phenomenal, and I, that's why I'm really excited that you're in as many churches as you're in in Indonesia and all throughout Southeast Asia, because what these kids are doing is they're not only learning the Bible, they're not only um, coming into a relationship with their with their God and with their Savior, it's having such an impact on them that these so many of these kids are now sharing their faith with other kids. We, we've seen so many testimonies of kids that are actually acting as evangelists. I mean, they're going out and sharing their faith. They're getting other kids to come in. What an incredible tool! I mean, it's an amazing tool. I don't know anything else out there. And you know what's great about an animation is, even though we produced this conceptualized it in the U.S. It was produced in South Korea. Once you take that, that animation and do a really strong quality job in a local language, I mean, in Indonesia, it's an Indonesian product. Mm -hmm. In Japan, it's a Japanese product. In Latin America, it's a, it's a, it's a Spanish right. language Latin American yeah, product. Right. And that's why I think kids just gravitate toward mm -hmm. it because it's, it, it speaks it speaks the uh, common language that kids speak, speak right. in terms of, um, of how they communicate and what they find as funny, but the common thread is the Bible is real. The Bible is true. The Bible is powerful. The Word of God is powerful. And that's why kids are, are, are that's why their lives are changed, right? Not because it's well written or the quality is fantastic. All of that's important. It's because of the power of the Word of God. Yeah, the Bible is the Bible, and every time the Bible is shared, it comes to life. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Ben, for being with us. My pleasure. And thank you, everybody. Terima kasih banyak untuk bersama-sama dengan kami dan berdoa terus untuk tim CBN menghasilkan produk terbaik untuk anak-anak di seluruh dunia untuk belajar mengenai Tuhan bersama. Terima kasih.